Howdy folks, today we're going to program the 5900S series air filter valve. This valve will be used for a carbon air sulfur system or a Proox air iron filter. When you plug in the valve, you're going to get a computer revision date, see something, uh, that'll change. And then it'll uh, flash a couple of times, and then it'll start going back and forth between the clock time and the number of days remaining until backwash. Don't hit any buttons until it's doing that. Wait a, wait a few seconds after you turn the valve on. To program the clock time, the first thing we'll do is go to that menu. We press the menu enter button. 1217 is all flashing on and off. Let's go ahead and change it to 1 o'clock. So we press the set change button. The first digit starts flashing and then we poke it until it gets to a zero. We're at a zero. We press the menu enter button. It goes to the next digit over. We press the set change button and that eventually gets to a zero. We poke it again and then we go to the clock, the hours. We get that at one. Now it's all flashing. We can confirm, yep, we sent it at 1 a.m. Press the menu enter button again. Now, are you a.m. or are you p.m.? Let's say we're p.m., so we hit the menu enter button. And then a is the number of days between backwashes, not the number of days between the drawing of the air. So the number of days in the backwash on an iron filter is going to be probably three or four. And on a carbon filter, let's go ahead and say on a carbon filter, it's generally going to be six or seven. We'll change it to six. And so now we've got six days in between regenerations. It'll backwash every six days. And then... This is lowercase d for draw for the air draw. If you put this at zero, it will only draw air on the days that it does a backwash. If you put it on one, which is the recommended setting, then it will draw in a head of air every night at the time that you program the thing to do the backwash time. So right now it's going gonna, it's gonna to draw air every night and it's going to do a backwash every six nights. And the reason they say night is because when we program the time that we start it, so let's go into the other menu, press and hold both buttons, and after pressing and holding both buttons for a few seconds, you're going to get to R12A. R12A is what time are we going to regenerate at? You want to make sure you're not regenerating this filter when you're either using water or when another filter needs to regenerate it, so set the time accordingly. Uh, let's keep it at AM, and then let's go over to 12, and let's say, all right, we're going to backwash this one at 1 AM, and because I have a softener after it, and the softener is going to go off at 2 AM, so, or uh, perhaps I want this one. It's the only filter I have, and I don't want it to go off until 2 AM, so I'll set it at 2 AM. So now when it draws air, it'll draw so draw air every night at 2 a.m. Okay, so now we've confirmed 2 a.m. Now we're going on to the cycle steps. Notice how it doesn't no go to number one, it goes to number two. Step number one is not a programmable step. It's going to last for as long as it takes for the air to come out of the uh, tank after remaining when it goes into the backwash, the previous air that was in there. So that's a sort of an air release cycle. And it goes on for several minutes. And the most important thing about that is for a couple of those several minutes, you'll have full flow water coming out the drain line just like you will during this cycle which is number two which is the backwash the backwash on all filters is always going to be 10 minutes we don't need to change that one so now we're going to step three step three is a rest it's a pause after we backwashed we're just going to let the thing sit there and do nothing for five minutes just leave it like that five minutes and then we go to the next step step four is where it's going to suck the air in from the side draw and the the four can be adjusted uh you can uh, it's currently set at 20 i would say start it at 12 and increase it if you need it to uh but at any rate 20 is a uh, you know well so we'll just change it to 12 and go over to the next button poke the set change button up until a one and then press it. Now we've changed it to 12. So now it'll air draw every night for 12 minutes. So the more more time, more minutes, the more air draw it'll, it'll get. The last set cycle step is the rapid rinse. We want to do that for six minutes. So now we've got step five, rapid rinse, six minutes. All of these cycle steps are written down here, by the way. And then, whoops, I went and did that again. Uh-oh, no, look. We get it back to six. Was pressing the wrong button. There we go. Go there. Okay, now we go to the next. 
Now we're at the Bluetooth enabled. If you go uh, with your iPad or iPhone and go online and download the legacy app, then you can hook it up to work, uh, the Bluetooth enabled. Uh, leave it at one, which is Bluetooth is enabled. It's in the on position. Leave it on regardless of whether you choose to download the app or not. And then the next one is if you do download the app, that's how you set your code for it. That's all explained on the legacy app on the, on the computer there. So then you go uh, press it one more time. So now it's keeping the clock time and it's going back Back and forth between the number of days until regeneration and that's how you program an air valve folks thanks